Hey, how's it going? It's John again, playing Immaculate Grid, going for that low time and low rarity score. I'm playing grid number 451 with an older version of Miller Park in the background. Um, 451 will be for Jim Tomey and Paul O'Neill and a player I don't know as much about, Jimmy Ryan, who all had 451 career doubles. So we'll see if we can use them. I didn't actually look up Jimmy Ryan's career. I don't know where he played, but he lasted long enough to get to 451 doubles, which is a pretty big number. So we'll see if we can use one of those guys on grid 451. I'm going to share my screen now. And away we shall go. Play. Go. There we go. All right. Um, Let's just go for it. Uh, Reggie Sanders. I'm on caps lock. Um, let's see here. We'll get Colton Wong. Let's grab Bob Euchre here. It's actually going to be a little bit lower, I think. There's Jim Tomey. I get to use Jim Tomey on Jim Tomey Day. Um, let's see. Ken Griffey played for both of these teams. So did Mike Cameron, but he also works up here. Joe Morgan won some gold gloves. Uh, let's see here for Philly's gold glove. Let's go with uh, Gary Maddox. And then for Seattle gold glove. Ah, I lost it a minute. I used Mike Cameron and Ken Griffey Jr. And they were both Frequent gold glove winners. Um, let's see. So I've already uh, blown it because I didn't read to the right. Uh, let's see. Dan Wilson, I don't think ever wins a gold glove because he's competing against Ivan Rodriguez the whole time. Um, it, it seems to me Adrian Beltre would have won gold gloves. I'm trying to think of anyone else who was particularly elite from the 2005 to 2009 time frame. John Olerud was also a pretty good defensive first baseman. I just am not that confident that he won gold gloves in his handful of seasons in Seattle. Uh, Ichiro, that's the obvious one I should have gone with 54 seconds ago. Don't know why I held out on that. 32%. So it took me almost two minutes Come up with Ichiro Suzuki as a gold glove winner. He was the most obvious pick. Uh, let's see. Did I go? I guess Colton Wong was also pretty obvious, and so was Tommy and Griffey. All right. Interesting selections all the way around by the masses and by me. <laughs> Went 33% for Ken Griffey and then 2% for uh, White Sox Reds for uh, Mike Cameron. So we'll do a reset. Stop share and reshare. Play grid 451. And let's go for it. Uh, let's see. Here is an Al Simmons combo. 0.3. Starting to creep up a little bit. Let's get Kurt Ford. Not to be confused with Kurt Flood, who never did play a game in Philadelphia. He takes point one. All right, let's see here. St. Louis and Seattle. How do we feel about Arthur? Well, let's see. He'll work for both, but let's go. Arthur Rhodes is the player I'm thinking of. I think I do want to use him here. For 2%, it's a bit higher than I thought it was going to go. Um, Let's see. White Sox and Mariners. But uh, Tartable. Haven't used him in a while. Go sub one. I'll take that. I believe... Mark Langston wins a gold glove in Seattle for 1%.
St. Louis and Cincinnati, uh, I'm thinking Ron Gant. I used Reggie Sanders already. Ron Gant, I think, is a decent option. Um, I mean, these are both very old teams. It seems to me I should come up with someone earlier than that. I'm just not seeing a lot of overlap as I'm looking at um, you know, your Ducky Medwicks and your Pete Alexanders, um, Ernie Lombardi never played for the Cardinals. Um, John McGraw played for the Cardinals, but not the Reds. Cy Young, I think, played for the Cardinals, but not the Reds. I believe Old Haas Radborn hits the Reds, but not the Cardinals. Now, the Braves were in here. I think we'd have uh, a little bit more fun, but you know what let's go with uh instead of gant let's go with ron blown he works for both takes point two all right cincinnati gold glove pete rose works johnny bench will work a lot um we had morgan in there already Um, Cesar Geronimo, perhaps. I'm not saying that with with perfect confidence. I just know his the reason why he was in that lineup was his glove, not his bat. Um, but I don't know if he actually ever won gold gloves. I'm trying to think who he was competing against. There was a little bit of Gary Maddox in there who I already played. There was a little bit of um. Gosh, who else? Dave Parker was winning gold gloves at that point, but not with the Reds. That's for sure. He was a lot older with the Reds. Uh, Larkin was the uh, the highest uh, point getter just now. I think Votto has won. Gold glove with the Reds, though. Let's see. Coming down the Phillies, Freddie Garcia was the name I was thinking of. I think he'll be a couple percent. Um, maybe higher because I'm just not thinking of a ton of people. I went with Tommy first time around. Uh, Dick Allen will work, but these are the two teams he's known best for. He won rookie of the year and got a start in Philadelphia and won MVP in Chicago. So I don't think that would be particularly rare. Greg Lazinski also works. Um, he's probably just sort of a split generation, half generation or so after Allen. Um, Steve Carlton will work. Wait, no, he won't. I was thinking of Seaver. Seaver played with the White Sox. Carlton, I don't think ever did. Carlton hits the twins and the giants. And the Indians, he's he sort of makes his way around a little bit. Um, who else could we go with? And for for Gold Glove, how do we feel about Mister Manny Trio? Takes two percent, which is decent. I'm going Freddie Garcia. Let's see how that does. Two percent. Then Reds Gold Glove. I reckon that right now, like five, seven, eight and change. So I could I could still be in single digits, but Reds Gold Glove might make that tough. You know what I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with Veta Pinson. Even though I know he had some stiff competition, I believe he makes it. And I go with an 8. That was a good guess. That was sub 1%. And uh, Vada uh, Pinson, but um, I mean, he's playing in the early 60s with the Reds. He's competing against Aaron... Uh, who won a couple of gold gloves, wasn't necessarily known for being glovesman, but he's also competing against Mays and Clemente and Willie Davis. So that's no small feat to win gold gloves when Pinson did. 
All right. Well, I think that'll do it. I'll take an eight. I'm a little embarrassed that it took me a minute to come up with Ichiro Suzuki for Seattle Gold Glove, but um, uh, that's all right. We'll uh, we'll roll with it. Thank you so much for playing, and we'll be uh, back at it in a bit. I'll play the uh, daily grid, and then uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. All right. Peace.